well, before it came out, everyone was already talking about how much of a trash fire it was going to be. So much so that people decided to kind of like make a thing about it and were uh, photoshopping Rotten Tomato scores and putting them online. Uh, somebody <laughs> trolled the Wikipedia page saying that it grossed, oh boy, $352 trillion uh, <laughs> worldwide. And so that was, it was called the Morbius Sweep. That was what was trending on, on Twitter because of it. The way that the It's Morbin Time came up was somebody tweeted, uh, you ever think Morbius tried to get things like Morbin around or Time to Morb going and Spider-Man <laughs> just stared him down? Time to Morb. And somebody, somebody responded to it, quote, it's Morbin Time. <laughs> like, much, when, much like the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, it's Morphin Time. I, I like to nerd out on the fact that, the, like, the way these things happen and the way they grow are usually sparked by just like a person saying a thing, and then people go a random thing, fucking yeah. buck wild with it. It's like a photo or whatever. This person who started it's Morphin Time. Do you have the actual mm. tweet, like what their user handle is? Uh, yes. It doesn't really matter to my point, but. When you think about the way a single person can influence the way the internet behaves, yeah, you know, like a, uh, a viral tendency. Yeah, this person has 960 followers. Um. Perfect example. <laughs> Anyone. Yeah. This is the everyman right here. You as an individual can influence an entire movement of jokes. Uh, like this will be referenced. It's Morbin time is not going away. Like, yeah. like it will be a thing that is like part of know your meme, part of like it'll be referenced as jokes by us probably in four years if we're still doing this godforsaken podcast. It's like, <laughs> it's like, it's not going away. And yet this person, unsung hero, nine hundred sixty followers, got nothing from it because you don't get anything from it. It's for the internet, baby. 